Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So sometimes you're not really in the mood to create anything major. I'm not really in the mood today to do an art journal page. I'm not in the mood to do um, a mixed media piece. So, but I'm in the mood to do something. So I thought today what I would do is I would have a rake through my um, old stamp collection and pull something out and have a play at creating some ATCs. So I've just del delved in and pulled out this um, collector's edition B stamp, bumblebee stamp from Indigo Blue. It's just a little one. It's not very big. So I think it's going to be perfect for doing a set of ATCs. Now, um, the last couple of videos that I've done um, I've had a few problems with my overhead camera where the sound hasn't recorded properly. So um, if that happens while I'm recording this, I will either fast forward, include the bits where it is recording and maybe do a little bit of narration or on screen annotation if that's what happens. But it has the last two times. One project I've had to ditch completely because not only did the, the sound go, but it also lost and actually cut and just keeps shutting itself down for no reason. Don't know why. I've had the camera for quite some time, so it's probably telling me that it's time to be retired and purchase a new one, but I'll have to save up the pennies for that one. So I will switch over to the overhead camera now and show you exactly what I'm going to create. Okay, so I'm starting off with a piece of watercolour cardstock. This is 300 GSM or £140 and it's seven and a half inches by seven inches which gives you, I don't know whether you can see the marks on the sheet, three at two and a half and two at three and a half. And I'm going to be using the smooth side today. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add some Americana bright yellow paint. Because that's going to be my base colour. And I'm going to use a blending sponge. Everything's nice and dry, so now I'm bringing in my honey stencil and I'm going to drop that down onto the cardstock and I'm going to be using Archival Ink Fossilised Amber just as a, an extra shade, so it, it's another kind of yellow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off do all four corners spin it round just rub it gently Because I'm going to be cutting this up, then the cross section there is going to be the edges of the others. So if I line that up just there and then go into the corner all the way around like so. I'm automatically going to get it in all four corners. Do the same thing at this side. So 
So we've now got it in those corners and then I just need to do a little bit up in that corner, which doesn't matter, and I can do a little bit just over this side as well. Just so that there's a little bit in each side. Some have got three, some have got two. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so I can then put that away. Bring up the heat gun. Okay, so now that I've got that, I can now trim my cards out. And I've got my lines pretty much spot on. And then three and a half. So the next is a new stencil from Indigo Blue. This is a mid-century modern one and I've got this lovely kind of stripy pattern down this side here, which I want to use on each one. It's kind of reminiscent of um, the stripes on the back of a bumblebee. So as soon as we've got the honey, I'm going to, well that's not centered properly, it's better. I want to add some black stripes on each one. So next step I'm going to just go around the edges with Vintage Photo, which is a nice kind of warm brown. Just to edge each one. Okay, so next up I'm going to be using the Collector's Edition number 9 Bumblebee. So this is the big one from the middle, which I've already mounted to my stamp block. And for this I'm going to use a stays on jet black.
Next up, I'm going to take some Dina Wakely Black. It's a little bit on my craft mat. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Water. Okay, so they're now all dry, pretty much, and it's now time to attach a pair of wings. So I stamped them out a second time, and I'm now just going to layer these over the top. This is Tombow, the Aqua Liquid Glue, the clear. Okay, so they're pretty much dry now. So what I've done next is I've gone onto my computer and I've printed off six individual words that I think go with the word B. And I've cut them at a slight angle. Uh, made them a little bit kind of mid-century modern. And I've just added a little bit of a black border around each one. So I'm going to stick them down pretty much just exactly where my first instinct is to actually put them. Like that. And I'm just going to stick them down again Ooh. just with a couple of dabs of glue. So literally all I did was print off the words on the computer. I didn't use sticker paper, just use ordinary kind of cardstock. Um, cut the white at an angle. So I did a kind of trapezoid shape. I stuck it down onto a strip of black card and then cut the black card around the white word. So I just mirrored and followed the shape of the word that I'd cut out. Really, really quick, simple and easy to do but I think just adds an extra little bit of um, interest into the background or of your little word or your sentiment whichever way you want to call it it really doesn't take long I'm hoping, I'm hoping that my camera is actually recording the soundtrack for this because it's been intermittent the last couple of times that I've had to do videos 
had to abandon one video completely recently because the sound on it had completely gone. And you could see me waving my hands talking. So I'm hoping that this is going to work. If it's not caught everything, I'll just have to work around it. But we'll see. I'll see when we get to post production. If you get my meaning. Okay, I think I'm going to swap that one over. So that we've got three at the bottom and three at the top. There we go. More of a set. Okay, time to do my backs, my ATC backs. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I've printed off my six ATC backs. And what I like to do is I like to name the series after the very first one in the set. So I've called these Be Bold. So that's the name of the set because number one will be bold. So I've already filled in my details. Um, just give it time to dry and then I'm just going to peel the back off because I have put this on self-adhesive paper, printed them on self-adhesive paper and then I'm just going to flip it over and then hopefully I can get this lined up without having to get my head in shot. There we go. Still a little bit wet. I should have left it for a little bit longer. So I'm going to go off and stick all these down because you don't want to sit and watch me doing this multiple times because ain't nothing boring than that. And then when I've got them all stuck down I will join with you again back at the end. Okay, so I've got all six stuck down. As you can see, they all are individually numbered. One of six, two of six, three of six, four of six, five of six, and six of six. And I'll just flip them back over again, just so you can see each one, although is the same, is individually different with the placings of um, the B, the word, and the pattern in the background. Now, if you're interested, obviously, the template for the ATC trading card backs are on my website to download as a digi download. There are also the circular ones as well that fit the two and a half inch, um, the two and a half inch ones. So there's a set of those as well. Obviously they don't have my details in there. Um, this is one I did for Christmas. Never finished it off for some strange reason. Anyway, so the circular ones are on the website as well as the rectangular ones for you to download as a digi if you wish. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, just to finish off, is I'm just going to put each one in its own individual little plastic sleeve. And then what I like to do with these, because um, there's obviously no point in me holding on to these, is what I like to do with these is the first six physical website orders that I get, where I have to post things out to people, is I will randomly drop one of these in. Um, obviously I can't send one out to somebody who hasn't ordered anything physical because I'm not posting anything. So there you go. My own little packet. Kind of sweet. So be bold, be kind, be honest, be amazing, be sweet and be brave. So I hope you enjoyed watching me put those together, even if the soundtrack for this thing is up and down and all over the place, uh, missing in places. My video camera really does need to be replaced, but obviously I need to save up some pennies before I can do that. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels, because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.